This is Chris from Needlepointers.com. Today I'm sharing with you these crochet stuffies I made from a free pattern available through the Yarnspirations website. Tuna the Cat and Bones the Dogs is a fun and adorable set that can be made in almost any color of Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I chose to follow the pattern and make them in this watermelon and mint yarn. You could also make them in more neutral colors like gray and tan or any colors. These charming toys are brought to us by Sarah Zimmerman from Repeat Crafter Me. Best of all, there is a three-part video lesson series to guide you through the stitching of this dog and cat stuffy. Look in the description of this video for a link to our website page for this project. On that page, we will have links to the free pattern, videos, and to supplies needed for this project. Whether you're a seasoned crocheter looking for a new challenge or just starting out with this fun hobby, Tuna and Bones is the perfect pattern for you. With simple and straightforward instructions, you'll be able to create a pair of cute and cuddly toys that are sure to bring a smile to your face. Stitching of these stuffies is completed in three parts. Part one stitches the snout, body, and head. Part two stitches the ears, arms, feet, and tail. And part three is assembly of the whole stuffy and the accessories like his little collar. If you have problems with stitching up the pattern, refer to the video tutorial for the week for some help. The pattern uses basic crochet stitches like a magic loop, single crochets, and single crochet two together for decreases. Most of the parts start with a magic loop and are stitched in the round with single crochets and single crochet increases. Because this pattern uses only a few crochet stitches, it's perfect for your first stuffed animal crochet project. It is important to use a stitch marker to keep track of the rounds. Without the marker, you can become lost in the rounds. For my cat version, I stitched a longer tail by adding extra rounds. I thought the short tail was appropriate for the dog, but the cat could have, should have a longer tail. Once you have all the parts of the animal stitched, you sew them together with a tapestry needle and some extra yarn. For the eyes and the nose, I used black safety eyes and black and pink safety noses. If you are going to give this stuffed animal to a young child, I recommend using yarn to stitch the eyes and nose as the safety eyes are not safe for young children. If you're making both the dog and the cat, only one ball of this contrasting color is needed. If you have leftover yarn, this is a perfect time to use up some of that leftover yarn. For the main colors of yarn, much less than one ball of yarn is needed for each animal. These animals are stuffed with polyester fiber fill. I also used some extra scraps of yarn to make the collars and included the tags. So grab your hooks and get ready to create some of the cutest stuffed toys, tuna and bones. Click on over to our website to get the free pattern. Visit our website needlepointers.com for lots of other quilting tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for a free weekly newsletter so you won't miss new tutorials. Happy stitching!